everybody. How's it going today? I'm splitting a few Sister Schubert's rolls because in my, con my ongoing attempt to get that giant bag out of my freezer so I'll have more room in my freezer, voila. So guys, welcome. It's Blue Cheese Bacon Smash Burger Day. So I hope everybody, hello Stanford. It's good to see y'all here. So here is what we're going to do. Um, first, I'm going to start off today and I'm going to melt a little butter that I put a little garlic powder and salt in because I'm going to dress these little buns. And at the same time, I'm going to get this little flat griddle going screaming hot and I'm going to turn my oven up. Hello, Denise. Blue cheese and bacon. Yes, indeed. What could be better? So this will come up really fast, but I don't care because I'm starving today. Last night, um, of course, you know, we had Philly cheese steaks yesterday, which I'm very happy to report my neighbor who is from South Philly, so they were better than home. So I'm very, very, very proud that my first um, attempt at a Philly cheesesteak was so good, but I actually have some ideas for elevating that Philly cheesesteak. So the next time I make it, it's gonna be even better. I think that what I'll do the next time is after I, hello Denise, hello Mike, I'll get that steak really beautifully sliced and I'm gonna put a little garlic powder, a little paprika, and just a little bit of uh, a Worcestershire so that when it crisps up and gets all delicious, it'll be even more delicious. So I think that, like I say, you know, cooking is an art, baking is a science. So when we're cooking here, we can do anything we want because once you learn how to make something correctly, just like music, once you learn the melody, now you can riff on the melody. But you can't do that until you have learned the actual melody, right? Otherwise, you'll get lost. So anyway, I'm just buttering up these, the, these split Sister Schubert rolls, which I'm so excited to finally start working on and getting them out of my house. Um, this is starting to smoke, so I'm going to turn that off. I just want it to be hot so that when I go to put these guys on there, they're going to be, they're going to toast up nicely. I'd like for these to have some crunch because, again, I'm using dinner rolls, and I kind of like them to be tough because I'm going to put some blue cheese dressing on here, and there's going to be a lot of stuff to make this go smush and get wet and delicious. So there's all that. Hello, guys. So next part, smash burgers. So I have already come and rolled them out into four equally sized, like kind of giant uh, uh, meatballs. And I've put here on a plate, this is a little trick I do with all kinds of stuff. Anytime you want to like um, pork chop steaks, whatever, and you want to kind of evenly distribute your uh, salt and pepper and stuff. I put it on this little plate and then I lay it down and just kind of run it in. So I'm gonna do this to, pardon my arm. I should remember to get these things out. I'm gonna put just a little bit of oil on the bottom of this cup so it doesn't stick to my meat. Woohoo! perfect. And then I'm just gonna smash this baby so that that one side gets lots of the herbs and spices. And then you see here how I have kind of a frilly edge here. And then that's gonna give all those loose edges places to caramelize on this burger, right? So there's those two ready to go. And I'm gonna set this aside and go over here and get my, my griddle hot. Because I think I'm gonna have to cook two at a time in here. And I'm hoping that my neighbor's gonna show up here soon to help me eat a little bit. So, I have a lovely glass of Babylon Store and Babel here. Because that's gonna be amazing with this. So now I think I can just go ahead and try start putting these face down on here. There we go. Or will they all fit? Will it fit? Will it fit? It will almost fit. I really need them all to lay down. There we go. So here's this, and now I could probably come and put this underneath our broiler so that things will start warming up down here. Yes. 
there's that. Okay, next, take away the muss and the fuss. And let's see, when this gets warm, we'll start thinking about putting a burger in there. I am gonna put just, this is, you know, it's really frustrating these days. Everybody has become health conscious, even though we get fatter and fatter, and it's really hard to find meat that isn't super, hamburger meat that isn't super low in fat. So, um, again, everything was lean, lean, lean. Well, I don't want lean. I want fatty and juicy when I want a hamburger, right? So, hello, with Melissa. And let's see, that is looking good. I'm going to get this little guy, and it can help me to get these bad boys up and off. There's a place... They were back in the back in the day when we could go to the movie theaters, Hugo and I would go down to the um, uh, South Street Seaport where they have one of those super duper fancy rest, um, movie theaters where you have you know, a waitress and food and cocktails and your own little like enclosed two barkle loungers. It's so fabulous. I will never not miss that again in this life. Although that one might get to come back because there's so much space between couples in there. So anyway, um, right next door there's a place, kind of an old style, new, but kind of old style uh, uh, burger grill that makes these great little super flat, caramelized around the edges, absolutely fabulous little burgers. And I always look forward to them when we go to the movies over there. So I'll go ahead and smash these out. Here we go. Smash them flat. Smash them, smash them, smash them. Smash them and hang them high, right? So these are gonna be way bigger than my than my buns, I'm afraid. My buns! See, I always burn the bread. What am I forgetting down here? Have I burned them? I have burned the bread. Check me out, I burned the bread. See guys, I'm just, everybody has their short their shortcoming. So we may be having hamburger, fried, um, here one of them didn't get completely burned. There's one not completely burned. Let's see. Maybe if I flip them over no one will be any the wiser because I don't think I'm going to get bread made between now and then. Let's see what happens. I am bad guys. So bad. Okay, let's try this again. Now let me go under here and get a couple more frozen guys. Sorry. Oy vey. Oy, 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 oy vey. We may be having a nice keto-friendly version today. Let's see what happens. Here's a nice stack of five. I can stick them in here and they'll thaw out hopefully really fast. And look, now I have even fewer of these. Yeah, this is probably great for those of you who have full-size freezers a second freezer in the garage, another freezer here and there. Lord have mercy. So anyway. But I, not so much. Let's see what's happening in here. They haven't come apart yet. This is coming along nicely, and I might put just a little pinch of salt on the top side of this burger, because why not, since I only seasoned the one side, right, when I smushed them down. Perfect. Perfect. Now, it smells like the bread is burning again, so I'm guessing I ruined everything. That is crazy, you guys. This is crazy. I'm terrible at this. And now I have no place to put this. Hang on a minute. Let me think about it. Where did my stable rubber go? Ah, oh, here it is. Hi, Kelly. I burned the bread. I really need somebody to help me here. So now we're going to be having a keto-friendly dinner today. So let me regroup. Turn this off because we don't need that anymore. And there you go. You'll Sorry guys. Something called Q Electrica keeps calling me. I'm never going to answer their phone call just so they know. So if you are part of Q Electrica, don't call me anymore. Now, I'm going to guess that this is probably overdone because I've been completely consumed by the bread problem. Let me turn this way down. See, this is a day I thought I was so well prepared, but I'm not prepared at all. Oh, but that is pretty. 
Okay, now let's get another couple of these babies in here since I've got a little more room. Excellent. Oh, yeah. This is going to be just fine. Just fine indeed. So that's not going to need but a second more. So I'm going to get out ahead of, Rome, of iceberg lettuce. And instead, we're going to have blue cheese, sort of a, what do you call these? Wedge salads. We're going to have a wedge salad with hamburger. So this now has become entirely keto friendly for anyone who wants to do that. And I still have burned a bunch of bread. How about that, guys? So, like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm just killing some time. So, let's take all of this to the garage. Give this guy a little rinse. So, yes, I, just like I, I say, I am just like Rachel Ray. I need a bread lackey. So, if anybody would like to be my bread lackey, you are more than welcome to invite yourself to come and live with me here in New York. Please don't bring spouses with you. We just don't really have a lot of room here to share and spare. All right, how's my burgers looking? I need a clean plate because the first two are probably ready to come off. Ooh. Let's see here. That looks pretty. And that looks pretty. And these two guys over here are still cooking. So we're just going to let them cook nice, cook up. How am I going to pull this together? Let's pull this together. Uh, hopefully my neighbor will be here to enjoy a little din din, a little lunch with us here in the next little bit. Pardon me. And one, two plates. Fantastic. And so we're gonna do this just a little differently, but this is what happens when you have to get it together at the last second. Always be prepared to make a terrible mistake, I say. So I'm going to cut this bad boy right down the middle. Set one aside. I'll cut the little core out here. And we're each going to get a quarter of a head of iceberg. Boom. And boom. And then, since there's that, I'm gonna take my half rings of Bermuda onion that I would have put on, and I'm just gonna kinda of put them across the top of my lettuce, right, why not? Put them a little here, here, here. And now, um, what else am I gonna do? I've got all my bacon here, so instead of it being pieces of bacon on my bun, I'm going to run a knife through this and chop them all up. Hello everyone. Hello Brian. How's our wine pairing? So my wine pairing today, Brian, is um, a South African blend of about 40% Syrah and then the other 60% is Bordeaux grapes from just outside Carl. I've got smashed burgers on here. I burned the bread. So we're going to have blue cheese, bacon, wedge salads with smash burgers on the side because I burned I burn the bread. So there we go. Hello, AJ. AJ, I'll be out at your house probably about cocktail hour today with a little gifty poo for or uh, with Christopher's request. Hello, Lisa. How is everything up there with you guys? And there we go. So guys, here we go. These are coming up nicely. This is good. Um, let's go get a little blue cheese dressing. So here is the blue cheese dressing that I started a few days ago. <coughs> and I finished it off yesterday. I made it a little on the thin side because it's super lumpy. My, I had some soft blue cheese and some crumblier blue cheese. So let's get a little of the wet to get down there in the in the cracks of my iceberg lettuce. There's just nothing really better than this. Um, my honey pie, who is probably who could be out of quarantine in the next few days, we're hoping. Um, anyway, his favorite 
vegetable is wedge salad. <laughs> How's that? So the other day he was saying that when he finally comes out of quarantine, he wants my lasagna and bread pudding. And I'm thinking, okay, wedge salad, lasagna, and bread pudding. That is a heart attack on a plate. And you know what? He's really a very, a very healthy person. So you don't, so it's funny that that should be his faves, right? So here we go. Bacon looks good. And then we've got these two pretty little burgers. Oh, that needs a little, that needs to crank up the heat a little bit. Did I turn that off or something? Where is, there we go. I'm gonna just let that crank up for a second. We'll put one here. I feel like it's the 70s and I should put a big scoop of uh, cottage cheese here. <laughs> what could be better? So let's put a little big chunk of blue cheese on top of those burgers. And let's let these two finish up. Nope, that still needs some heat. That is not caramelized like I want it to be. We're gonna have to put a little bit more when these get finished. But guys, I've made a terrible mess in the kitchen and I really think that this is gonna be amazeballs. So, pardon my language. So, yes, some tomatoes would be great. Thank you, Tina, I appreciate it. Hello, Reuben, how are you? So guys, this is lunch today. I think it's I think it's gonna be a big hit and a big success. And you know, and if anything, I feel pleased that I was able to show you what you do when you completely screw up. I just realized I left all those that big pile of fur bread in the in the fridge or in the, the oven. So there we go, guys. That's pretty much it for today. I did cook my hamburgers at different speeds, so one got a little better, um, a little better caramelized than the other. The kitchen is a mess and I'm ready to roll. So you guys, I hope everybody has a great day. Um, this is gonna be so good. Now I did thaw out some buns over here. So now I think I can probably keep these in here. Maybe they'll become a little warm and not completely destroyed. I'm gonna leave them there in the warm until I call Tom and see if he's like to come down and have a little lunch. So you guys, I want everybody out there to find something that they can do delicious and tasty and remarkable and just have a great day. The sun is shining in New York. I have to go pick up 15 cases of wine in a couple of hours. So it's gonna be a nice driving day. I get to go to Park Slope and see AJ and Christopher. So it's gonna be a wonderful day, y'all. Um, thank you so much as always for coming and joining me. Get your blue cheese out, fire up your griddle and make beautiful food. Tell the people around you how much you love them and how much they mean to you. And I love every one of you and you mean so much to me. So thanks a million guys and see you tomorrow. What is tomorrow? I have no idea yet, but sandwich week continues. Don't worry. Sorry that the sandwich fell apart though. Ciao. <laughs>